Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows applications how to insert multiple or bulk rows into SQL Server database. Let's add some rows. Charan, charan at gmail.com. Salary is 15,000. James, j at gmail.com. 1500. Yahoo.com. 988 add values to data grid. Now we have some multiple rows in this data grid view control. Once I click the save multiple rows button, I want to save the details into this bulk records. Save multiple rows. See here we got a message rows inserted successfully. Let's check the output. I'm executing the statement. And here we got the results of this bulk records table. We have inserted multiple rows. But notice in the last row, ID value 5 contains null. To prevent to save these null values, and we are inserting multiple rows, I have added two employee details, Ben and Urmila. Let's save multiple rows. Records inserted successfully. Let's check. Now when I execute this statement, I don't get the null values for the newly inserted records. Execute and see here we got the Ben and Wurmla is added and the last row does not contain any null values. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have shown how to add multiple columns from text box controls into a data grid view control. For example, Karan k at gmail.com and salary is 800. Let's add another record Sam sa at gmail.com 1900. If you missed my previous video, how to add multiple rows into a data grid view control, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get a link of that video. Aim in this video, I want to insert multiple rows or bulk data, the whole table, into SQL Server database. So let's close this output window. Let's add a button control. Open toolbox, button control. F4 save multiple rows enter after that once the records are saved successfully into the table I want to display the message open toolbox come to the bottom the label control I'm adding F4 I'm deleting the label for text property enter that's it we have done the designing part before writing the coding part to insert multiple values or rows into SQL Server database table let's create a new table in SQL Server Management Studio I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio I'm expanding the root folder as well as the database folders the sample DB is my user database let's expand that one Let's create a new table in this database. Right click the sample DB database. New query. I'm creating a table. Create table DBO dot bulk records is a table name. ID int not null identity identity 1 comma 1 primary key comma I have three columns in the data grid view which is name email and salary name column to varka 50 email varka 50 salary varka it's an integer type. 
that's it execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's check in this tables folder the bulk records table is created or not let's refresh the sample db database refresh the folder and expanding the tables folder and notice here the bulk records is a table name let's browse the table select top thousand rows right now in this table contains zero rows now let's add a multiple rows or bulk records into this table double click the button control and here we got the button click event now before writing the coding part let's add the namespaces using system dot data dot sql client using system dot configuration after adding these two namespaces now my next step is let's add the database into this data connections folder right click the data connections add connection server name is user pc sql express the database name is the sample db database we have created the table in this sample db only and selected that one test connection is succeeded okay okay and notice here in the data connection the sample db dot dbo is added now we need the data source of the sample db right click the data sample db go to properties in the properties connection string which contains a data source copy that one open solution explorer in this project app.config file open that one now in this app.config file I am adding my connection string connection strings and name is equals to my connection connection string I am pasting the data source which I have copied provide a name which is a system dot data dot client after adding the connection string in the app.config I again switch back to the code behind I have added the connection string in the app.config file but in the code behind I need to add the connection string name from the app.config file but in windows application the system.configuration namespace by default it's not included in our project references folder so we need to add manually references folder notice there is no any system.configuration namespace so let's add that one right click the references add reference in the assemblies framework search for the system.configuration select the checkbox click ok and notice the system.configuration namespace dlr library is included into our project references folder let's minimize this references folder after that come to the bottom and the button click key and let's write the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between these double quotes I'm adding the my connection connection string name dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main con after that we are getting the data from the data grid view control so we have multiple rows in the data grid view control for that I'm using for each loop I'm adding data grid view row dr in data grid view one dot rows property string sql query is equals to let's add the insert statement insert into the table name is dbo dot bulk records copy this one and paste here values at name at email at salary
SQL command, SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters. The first one is our SQL query command text, comma, SQL connection object. SQL com dot parameters dot add with value takes two parameters the string parameter name which is at name this one this object comma the object value here the object values we are getting from the data grid view control so dr is a data row dot cells the first cell name is a name dot value double question mark db dot db null dot value sql com dot parameters dot add with value double quotes at the second column name is email object dr dot cells the column name is email dot value double question mark db null dot value the last one is called com dot parameters dot add with value at salary b odd dot cells the last column name is a salary dot value double question mark db null dot value Let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method and close the connection string SQL close. Between open and close, let's add the execute query SQL con dot execute non query method. After that, once the records are inserted successfully, I want to display the message in the label message. Label four dot text is equals to rows inserted successfully. That's it. We have done the complete coding part to insert multiple rows or bulk records into SQL Server database table. Let's check the output start. Let's add some rows. Charan, charan at gmail.com. Salary is 15,000. James j at gmail.com 1500 vj vj at gmail.com and the last one sam sa at yahoo.com 988 add values to data now we have some multiple rows in this data grid view control. Once I click the save multiple rows button, I want to save the details into this bulk records. Save multiple rows. See here we got a message rows inserted successfully. Let's check the output. I am executing the statement and here we got the results of this bulk records table we have inserted multiple rows but notice in the last row id value 5 contains null to prevent to save these null values and we are inserting multiple rows close the output window go to the coding part after sql command if dr dot is new row is a property continue I'm closing this curly braces or we need to add the semicolon so let's check the final output start Let's add some values here. Is Ben B at Yahoo.com? Salary is eight seven six five. 
add values some Urmila you are at gmail.com salary is 3545 I have added two employee details Ben and Urmila let's save multiple rows records inserted successfully let's check now when I execute this statement I don't get the null values for the newly inserted records execute and see here we got the Ben and Urmila is added and the last row does not contain any null values. That's it.